Hi there, Steve Kaufman here again. Today I want to talk about a subject that um, often comes up and uh, people often challenge me on it. And that is this issue of learning the basics, learning the fundamentals. How do we learn the fundamentals of a language? My answer is we don't. At least I'm not able to do so. There are people, there's Tim Ferriss who's got his how to learn any language in in an hour where he deconstructs the language and there are other people who uh, I just finished watching a video uh, by someone talking uh, this was a Russian person who uh, lives in Sweden talking about learning languages on your own and he says that we should begin by reading a little book on linguistics or even learning Esperanto to get a sense of the, the terminology grammatical terminology that's used so that we can master the grammar from the beginning I can't do that it may be that I am sure there are people who can do that, who are linguistics experts, who can read the rules and immediately understand how the language functions. I can't because I have found that the rules vary so much from language to language. And very often the way things are said, some of the basic structures in a language, new language, which Russian was for me or, or Czech or, or you know Japanese, they're so different from my own that the explanations of how they work don't make much sense to me. They don't make sense until I have had a lot of exposure to the language. So again, you know, uh, and I, I, my own advice to people is not to worry about it. I learned Japanese and Chinese without being aware of a single grammatical term. Uh, with Russian, I, I did get more involved because Russian is, is more complicated in terms of grammar so that I know that there are these aspects of verbs, but I, I still don't fully understand the difference. And I've read the explanations many, many times. Uh, and there are lots of these uh, rules uh, and lots of these different structures. And I just find that, that uh, I prefer to go on my merry way, acquiring words, learning, understanding more, and bit by bit some of these rules become clearer. So I don't believe you can nail down the fundamentals, not at all, uh, unless you are particularly gifted or have a special predilection for, for grammar. It's not something that works for me. I don't think it works for the majority of people because the majority of people that I've spoken to complain about being turned off um, their grammar studies or turned off their language studies in school because of the emphasis on grammar. So that doesn't mean that I don't think you should learn to speak properly. Uh, but I think you learn to speak properly by paying attention to the patterns of the language. And I think that's something that we can do, looking at examples and right from the beginning, making an effort to notice what is happening in the language, notice how it is different from our own language. And that's fun to do. And if we struggle to identify these patterns on our own and struggle to understand texts, and there's always patterns that don't make sense to us, uh, I think then when we eventually are familiar enough with that pattern that we can actually read an explanation of that pattern and make sense of it, that we learn it better. And again, there was an article in uh, on Time Magazine about how if we bumble along and struggle on our own, we learn better than if we are given a, a, a you know ready-made formula explanation from the teacher. It's, it's much better to have experienced something on your own, then maybe get a little help afterwards uh, to point you in the right direction. But at least then you have some experience. What is the nature of the problem? So uh, I very much believe that, and I've said this before, but it comes up time and time again, that to nailing the fundamentals, and this came up, I was recently on a, on a thread at this how to learn any language forum, and this was again one of the comments, you know, you have to begin by learning the fundamentals. And I just, I just find this completely alien to how I have learned languages. So all the more power to the people who do it that way. But I think there are a lot of people who cannot deal with these rules up front. Uh, and to those people, I would suggest just discover the language, learn a few words. Don't worry if it's a bit fuzzy. Struggling with that fuzziness is actually helping you. Uh, you do have to go back and, and occasionally look at the explanations. But every time you look at the explanations, if you find that you don't fully understand them or you can't remember the rules or the endings, don't worry about it. It's all part of that bumbling process, that struggling process that's going to help you learn. 
another thing that uh, was in again in that video by the professor from Dalarna University in Sweden uh, was the idea that every time we see a word or learn a word we should repeat it we should try to use it uh, again I think this is um, just not practical because we want to have as large as possible a passive vocabulary so that we can read so that we can understand native speakers who always have a much larger vocabulary than we have so that the words that we need to use is actually quite a small subset of the words that we need to understand so that the idea that you would limit yourself only to vocabulary that you are able to use to me is impractical uh, I am motivated to read novels now not everybody wants to read novels or read about history but I am motivated to have intelligent conversations with people and those people in the foreign language will all have a much larger vocabulary than I have. I need to understand them first and foremost and I need to have a subset that I can use. Now there are ways we do eventually have to work on uh, you know the active vocabulary and I do that uh, uh, you know by reviewing vocabulary reading you know uh, as I've said before in grammar books the answers rather than the questions or reading you know the examples that we create at link in every link we've got five ten examples depending on or sometimes fewer and reading them reading them out loud now I'm spending some time doing that on those words that I think are important to me and those structures that are important to me but I can only spend a limited amount of time on that because I'm still motivated to expand my vocabulary so that I can understand more so that I can pick up a book and enjoy it so uh, all I'm saying is that it's a long process and the idea that you can somehow nail down the fundamentals at the beginning, I, I don't believe it. I think you can have a general overview uh, and, and typically, and I always recommend that people get themselves a little starter book in a language and that's really all you need. You know, it could be teach yourself, it could be ask email. It, to me, it doesn't matter whether it's colloquial or whatever it is. If you read through that, you'll get some sense of some of the issues in the language you won't a lot of the stuff just flies by you you read it yeah but you don't really quite know what they mean you I mean this thing is well worn because I have to go back time and time again and as I have had more experience with the language these things start to make more uh, and more sense to me so the fundamentals don't worry about the fundamentals learn about enjoying the language and a big thing is the big decision we have to make is where to spend the time. If you have eight hours a day, then you have one range of decisions to make and you have to have a variety of activities in order to keep you, um, you know, on task. Otherwise, the brain goes numb after a while. But if you only have a limited amount of time, then, you know, you have to fit it in. So listening obviously fits in very nicely, reading. If you have the time to watch a movie, fine. But there's always that decision. Should I work on expanding my uh, passive vocabulary or should I work on trying to activate more of that vocabulary? This also depends on your needs, you know. Now that I'm going to Prague, as I get closer and closer to that date, I will be working harder to try to prepare some of that vocabulary, make sure that I, I'm close to being able to activate it. And when the need arises when I'm in Prague, I'm confident that a lot of those words are just going to start coming out. Um, I know that I should write more. Writing is very good. But again, I don't have the time and perhaps the motivation to do so. So these are always choices that uh, that we have to make. But I think uh, you know where I have kind of you know disagree with a number of these other people who are you know focusing on activating the vocabulary up front, um, learning the fundamentals up front. I find it very difficult to do, and I think there's nothing wrong for those of us who don't enjoy doing that. For those that do, go for it. Those of us who are like me who don't enjoy the language, enjoy it passively, enjoy listening, enjoy reading, enjoy discovering more and more of it. And when you have the need and the opportunity to use it, you'll find that a lot of it will come come out. You know, you will start to be activated and uh, yeah, you'll make some mistakes. And if, as you confront your mistakes in your conversations and so forth and so on, that'll also help you notice when you're again, you're listening and reading. So. Learning the fundamentals up front, uh, I don't think it's possible to do. Uh, that's my take on it. And uh, again, look forward to your views. People often say that I'm sort of, I think that everybody learns the same way and I shouldn't be pontificating. Well, you know, other people can say how they like to learn languages and I'm going to say how I like to learn languages. 
And I know from talking to many people that a lot of learners do not like to be forced to speak right up front. A lot of learners have a lot of trouble dealing with grammar up front because it's, it's, it's just, it's very difficult to get a hold of without a lot of experience. So that's however many, uh, uh, you know, uh, of the learners that are out there. And to them, I offer my advice. Uh, they can take it or leave it. And there is no shortage of people on the internet offering advice on language learning and people can choose uh, and experiment and see what works best for them. Thanks for listening.